Welcome back guys. Uh, now we're going to look at uh, pulmonary edema. So pulmonary edema is, a, is an acute medical emergency due to increase in pulmonary capillary venous pressure. So leading to fluid in the alveoli, usually due to acute left ventricular failure. So clinical features, uh, the patient is going to present with breathlessness, sweating, cyanosis, uh, frosty blood tingled sputum, uh, respiratory distress, uh, ronchi, and uh, cryptations. So when a patient presents with this, uh, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to do a check X-ray, which will reveal loss of distinct uh, vascular margins, uh, Kelly lines, uh, and diffuse haziness of lung fields. So how do we manage a patient uh, with uh, pulmonary edema? So it must be immediate. Uh, so you're supposed to prop up a patient in bed, uh, give 100% of oxygen, uh, 3.5 to 5 liters per minute. You're also supposed to start furosemide 40 milligrams initial and repeat with higher doses every 20 to 30 minutes to a maximum of uh, 200 milligrams of total dose. So if... Uh, if not already on digoxin, you're supposed to digitalize except uh, if due to myocardial infarction. Uh, also, you're supposed to handle the patient as heart failure or acute myocardial infarction. So you're also supposed to give uh, IV aminophilin 250 to 500 milligrams slowly. And uh, you're also supposed to start on oral medications as soon as possible. Uh, point to note, you're supposed to check uh, and watch for respiratory depression. Uh, so you admit the patient uh, for management of pulmonary edema. So investigational procedures of underlying cause, the root cause of the pulmonary edema. And also uh, you're supposed to manage the underlying cause like hypertension. So thank you. I hope you're able to manage uh, pulmonary edema.